Over the last year, volunteers have gone back four times to Ukraine to work on several missions. The retired tech executive went to Ukraine three times last year to help locals round up and care for abandoned pets. And there we found some places more dogs and cats than people. We've taken her now back to the vet clinic to get the, because there's a bit of wire still. She got caught on a snare. But the big thing is we have to stop the growth of the population. UWARF estimates there are 400,000 abandoned animals that need to be spayed or neutered in Ukraine. You drive down the street, just packs of dogs and cats living everywhere, and they're all friendly, they're pets and they want to kiss your face and you just look at them and you think of what life are they having now. There was a real issue already, we knew, with street animals in Ukraine. The shelters were already overcrowded. There's a reluctance to euthanize animals. So then you had, you know, even prior to the war, animals coming into these shelters, but not really a good pipeline for animals getting out. Of course, the population is just going to grow and grow and grow. And what happens is then you get disease, you get infighting. So Christina is one of the most remarkable people I have ever met. I've never seen anyone so dedicated to the fight for animals. She was ready to sign up for the military and she would do it again. Then we said, your skills are better at animal rescue. No fear. Walk in and grab an animal. I look at some dogs and like, no thanks. And she just walks right, in, grabs that dog by the neck, or she chases it down and she's a true warrior. It's almost time. Well, this minute back to the whole period. Well, thank God, for all that everything was well and my whole hands Наверное, как ты уже к этому привык. Животное, которое нужно отловить, да? Потом ты прицеливаешься. Если оно, если оно дикое не идет к рукам, ты стреляешь натворным с духовой трубки. Затем, когда животное выстрелили, обычно животное пугается и начинает бежать. Отлов в зоне боевых действий – это отдельная история. If you look at these animals, they need us because they have psychological issues. Imagine being an animal and having missiles hit every minute and a half. What are you thinking? You don't know. You're just scared. Очень много животных умерло от сердечных приступов. Больше чувствуют опасность и несправедливость, чем наша. I'm trying not to fall in love because it will break my heart if I do so. То есть, как говорят, человек лечит человека, а ветеринар – все человечество. То есть, чтобы не распространялись никакие болячки. Folks that would normally round up the animals, make sure that they're spayed and neutered, they're vaccinated, aren't there anymore. And so when that happens in a place that's already a high-risk rabies country, rabies is going to increase with that population explosion. It presents a much more direct and fatal risk to humans. Rabies has the highest case fatality of any infectious disease. And the number one target for rabies? is children. Поэтому мы здесь, поэтому мы хотим предотвратить распространение бешенства не только роста популяции бездомных животных, котов, собак. We, we GPS locate them from where they came from. We either return them back to their friends, but if we think we can adopt them, we take them to a shelter that we have in Odessa and then we drop them all over Europe. At the end of this trip will be 7500 animals. That seems like a lot. It doesn't do any good unless we get to that tipping point at least half a million animals to prevent an avalanche of animals happening and the mass slaughter of those animals because there'll be too many of them in five years to manage. I don't know. I think it should be some kind of... I think they can help only with the clean hearts of people and to help animals. Okay, so we're going
Мы готовы жертвовать собой, мы готовы спивать их, ну, допустим, в ужасных иногда условиях. Но когда ты знаешь цель и для чего ты рискуешь, для чего ты все это делаешь, оно несложно, оно вдохновляет.